Right, this is where I'm at so far. Got the, uh, the two horn plates here. The back section covers the boiler. There the boiler. Um, that's a bung I made to um, form the boiler. Just got to fi finish that off. It's obviously nowhere near finished. Got to be um, silver solder joint put on it and everything. Yeah. Um, these are parts of the uh, firebox and this little round one is the end piece for the uh, tubes, the fire tubes to go into and I think I've already said these are the horn plates um, they, were, they were made as a pair, the horn plates I um, glued those together and drilled all of the holes as you can see there is uh, quite a few holes in there So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, there is a little bit of footage, I'll put it up. Um, and I will make another video, um, well, when I feel like it really. And thanks for watching. Alright, what I'm going to do today, um, make a start on the engine. It's the uh, inch and a half scale Alchin traction engine. Um, since my introduction video, I've decided that I'm not going to use any of the... Um, components that I bought um, from eBay. I'm going to start from scratch. Um, I want to make the boiler first but um, I haven't got the copper for that yet so um, I'm waiting for the copper to come through for that. Uh, and while I'm waiting I'm going to make a start on the horn plates. Now the horn plates go on the um, side of the boiler. Um, they, they perform quite an important function actually because they, uh, they hold um, the bearings for the crankshafts etc, they hold the wheels um, and uh, they're the sort of the, the structural part of the firebox if you like um, yeah, maybe you could call it that, but anyway they're, they're made of steel they rivet to the um, stays on the firebox so that's what I'm going to do today make a start on them, get those cut out get some of the holes drilled because the, the holes from the horn plates, these holes, a lot of the holes here are used as a, a template to drill the holes into the boiler for the stays so everything lines up from the horn plate. Um, the stays are actually solid and then when the boiler is finished you actually drill through the centre of the stays and put these little um, copper rivets in. Um, which doesn't affect the uh, sealing of the boiler etc which then hold, hold the horn plates on so anyway they're mild steel um, going to get these cut out today and um, let's get over to the mill and um, I'll get it set up I'll rough cut them out first I'm not going to film that but I'll rough cut them out and then I'll clean them up on the mill and then get it set up for all of the various holes um, these holes here are these ones which hold the wheels on so that is quite an important thing this is for the uh, blow down valve um, bearings these are for the bearing carriers not the actual bearings themselves uh, and then you've got various other holes there for various other things which we'll go through later on 